Welcome to game three between Scan and Kala. Kala going to be the blue, or Baimaru, going to be the blue Protoss, six o'clock location, upper right corner we have Scan. This is once again map testing on Turbine. And it's really nice to have, you know, ASL quality level players to be able to commentate. Debating actually whether I want to, maybe I want to recast of the next games. We'll see. Anyway, it feels like part of the problem with this map's in general, is that it's, and I don't know whether to chalk this up to Scan just being incredible and being able to deny all sorts of information to his opponent, or whether it's more of a map feature thing, where once Terran's inside two bases protected like this, if they stay on top of Comsat and they have Goliath in the air, they can just completely deny information to the Protoss opponent and then more or less do whatever they want. But at the moment, yeah, Kala's had this problem it feels like, where he either wants to take his mineral expansion or do a tech switch or whatever. It feels like he just doesn't have enough security, enough information to really... He's playing in the dark, and as a result, Scan has all sorts of options to just do timing pushes, to go ahead and play a longer-term macro game. My one concern is, is I do feel like it is imperative that Terran end the match before that, because carriers can just be brutal on this map. So revealing it once again, you have this feature and carriers back here. Goliaths might have some trouble making their way across. Here, uh, carriers again might have some trouble making their way across. There's just all sorts of map artifacts and things like that where just air units seem like they'd be very, very dominant. So if you can pull off that tech switch and get carriers up in the air, it feels like that could be a game-winning combo. However, the issue is, is how do you get there? How do you get there as a Protoss player? How do you survive the the storm of metal that is pressing on your front door? Nexus being plopped down. In a gateway as well. And I'm, I'm, I'm curious if that is why Scan is also opting, realizing the power of carriers on this map, why he's opting to go Goliath a little bit earlier in his composition to where it per basically serves that kind of dual purpose where it prevents the Reaver Harass in the main, really shuts that down. And secondarily, also you're kind of buffering that force and having some units prepared for any sort of, you know, nice anti-air against Arbiters, against anything else later in the match. Probe actually gets inside the base this time, which might be the difference here. Doing a little bit of SCV Harass needs to keep himself alive though. He's going to forfeit his life because that front door is now sealed, but he's going to be able to see that 14 Command Center and hopefully we'll be able to get this is the other thing even as protoss you sneak into the space are you going to gas steal kind of the option are you going to gas steal that second gas interesting food for thought cybernetic score being built 14 cc versus 12th commander center once again probes being transferred scan does in fact is going to get all that information i'm hoping this probe will be the difference and we'll see something different we're a little bit more successful from kala that first marine being produced. Here's the thing though. Yeah, he sees 14 command center. But ooh, probe, you gotta save your shields. There's a there's a marine coming. Hopefully this is a pro gamer probe and it's gonna make it wits cross. It does it should see this factory at the very least, and it's gonna see these three SCV on gas. To know that there's not gonna be a quick, at least at the very least, not a quick additional command center at the mineral only to follow this up. And Let's see if you can sneak down and actually see that the second refinery has been placed down. Back in Kala's main, he's got that first Dragoon being produced. The Cybernetic Score is silent. So rather than going for range, he's going to very quickly go... He's got his second gas up. Is very quickly skipping, I think, Dragoon range to get a faster robotics facility to try to push it some sort of attack, some sort of harassment in sort of inside of Scan's main. There is a single Marine kill for that probe, so we missed that Marine's <laughs> glorious moment. Machine shot being produced. Now, range is being upgraded. Scan pulled that SCV out, but is now going to wander it back in. Might be able to, should be able to see the tech. He's making a movement right first. I don't think this Dragoon's going to be able to box. That's the other problem is, is, yeah, this SCV seems to be able to get in here and get all the early game information to deal with any sort of... I almost feel like it's a Terran who built this map, right? It's the Terran who did it. Sees the early robotics facility, sees the spinning 
cybernetic score. See how he opts to kind of deal with it. A Dragoon actually poking away at the supply depot on the front. Two Marines engaging right there. It has managed to get up that ramp. Ooh, Marine peeking through. Might end up losing his life for it. It's, it's going to base shield. Got, has one kill. Actually working on an SCV as well. Some good harassment in this regard. Another Dragoon making its way across. So now Scan in a bit of trouble. Doesn't have... Is still waiting on his siege... His initial siege tanks. He's going to have to be careful. Because this is a pocket where some Dragoons might be able to sneak up and get a siege kill. Siege tank kill, I should say. Looks like he's going to ha going to go ahead and back off. Engineer being built towards that natural expansion. And behind all this, Kala going to go ahead and take his third. And opting... This is clever. So... With that SCV killed, with the threat of potential Reavers there, he's instead gone from the observatory, has observers moving out in the field, has some Dragoons pressing around that corner. He's gone ahead and taken this expansion here, and he's sealing it in with pylons. So third Nexus, additional gas, charm booster upgrade once again, level one weapons. And with all the harassment he's done, and with Scan now actually, this is nice, being in this position where he's a little bit in the dark, doesn't know necessarily whether he's going up against Reavers or not. Although with the Shimmer, the Pro Gamer eyes probably will be able to see this Observer making its way across, but I like that this Observer managed to get in this base a little bit earlier. That Comsat, I think, is going to be over this corner. It's going to see a lot of gateways being plopped down and some Citadel of a Dune robotic support bay. So seeing that acceleration into the mid-game that the 12 Nexus 14cc kind of allows. Observer flying right over that turret, it looks like, as it was complete and getting wiped out. Pro transfer to the bottom left. And I think this is... I like this kind of as a calculated take, because this is much harder to defend, honestly, I feel like, than this base. So I think it is... I, and I'm wondering if we're going to see that moving forward. This Nexus, I feel... Yeah, you've got a gas here. You've got nice ramps to cope with. you got Dragoons that can pretty easily reinforced. It's not such a huge distance point. This is also away from the Terran base, so they got to reinforce through. The, the fast reinforcement point is kind of through uh, your lane. I don't know. We'll see. Templar Archives warping in as well. We do have four gateways up. For scan, level one weapons just about to complete. Third factory being built. And because the factory count is somewhat lower, it suggests that he's... And he's killing it. Looks like that, those creep colonies in the front. He does have that command center being built. Yeah, he's just going to go for more of a slow build. And I wonder if he's going to go for that level 2 weapons, level 1 armor. Call of being a little bit more secure at this stage. Has an observer kind of over this back corner, placing it in a different location to go ahead and see when this command center is being taken. Once that... It, yeah, now that the... Uh, I like that he's moving his observers around. That was clever. He's like, okay, scan's going to scan here. He's going to see there's no observer there. Once the scan is complete, I'm going to go ahead and... It's hard to say the scan scan thing. I'm going to go ahead and move in and get eyes on absolutely everything. Observer also going to go around that corner checking everything just in case there was a sneaky expansion taken. More gateways. So we are seeing kind of gateway man, I assume, into Arbiter in the mid game. Shuttle is loading up with some High Templar and a Zealot to maybe get a drop. There's a handful of turrets in this back corner. Another scan from scan. Able to kill that observer as his mineral only is being established. And this is a nice... I feel like it's so hard to roll into this, right? So I'm going to... But here's the thing. On the low ground, some high Templar right here could even just walk up and side storm over the wall. Blind. And maybe get some kills there. We'll see. We'll see. Second armor being placed. A couple vultures being placed as well. Some turrets along that corner. Shuttle going to the north, rather going to that mineral-only location. There is a gap here to sneak through. For Kala. We'll see if he opts for it. Marine actually running out to scout for him as well. I'm not sure if that was scanned or not. It might have been. Scan just having that sick gamer sense. This might be just, he knows this is one of our practice opponents and he just knows. But as a result, Kala not, yeah, so backing off. Keeping that threat, but otherwise pushing back. He's getting High Templar here in the mid-game. More High Templar. He's got two shuttles now full of High Templar. And here's the thing. He's had these shuttles in game one, game two. They really haven't been able to do much for him. 
I assume this is just maybe just for protection against potential vultures. Uh, but here's the thing. He's had all of this loaded. The shuttle's loaded with, with units, and they just haven't gotten a lot accomplished. Dropping his zealot, clearing some mines. There's a counter drop. There's a side storm. But scan very quickly dodging. Pro gamer dodge right there. So completely whiffing on that side storm. Three zealots in one shuttle, two zealots, and two I Templar in the other. Looks like they are looking for an opportunity to attack. However, they are just, this is again, a kind of a natural funnel. Zealot dropping on the low ground, getting distracted a bit by those vultures. Now turning around, Psystorm able to kill that lower tank, but that shuttle being wiped out. Good Psystorm over the SCVs and three siege tanks on the left. But the High Templar are getting wiped out otherwise, and this is just such a natural funnel where the siege tanks just feast, feast. So both, both down. Are we going to see another side storm? Another side storm able to kill another handful of SCVs to thin out that natural expansion. But handful of SCVs die. But that was a lot of high Templar to make that happen. Another one just sitting here might be sacrificed on the low ground. Plus two shuttle, plus two shuttles, and a lot of dragoons. However, Kala, not in a, not in the worst position. He's sitting at four bases. He's now getting his fifth. Sealing that in with some photon cannons as well. This marine just kind of patrolling, looking for that refugee toss style. Needs to be a little bit concerned though, because despite those initial hits, this is six factories producing vultures probably, and two factories up here. Looks like speed just being upgraded. And two factories up here producing siege tanks, and we are hitting that level two weapons, level one armor timing. With some SCVs. Oof. And this is a big army making its way across. Call it has enough supply to fight this. Does have a handful of High Templar, perhaps, and this is good. Maybe he's each... maybe if he can get there. Oh no! Loses the High Templar before he's able to get a side storm off. A Marine catching that expansion is going to be able to halt that, and it looks like it is just going to be pure Gateway Man with level one weapons, no Arbiter as of yet, and honestly, no Spellcaster units to deal with this timing attack. So we don't have Stasis here. We don't have side storm. Single cannon to try to defend these probes, and it looks like he's going to go for an end around with the Zelts in the shuttle to try to draw these units back. But scan on top of it defensively. He does have vultures there. Continuing to press. He's going to add on yet another factory to produce more vultures to reinforce, and he's slowly, carefully, methodically making his way down. This has provided some time for some High Templar to get here. Side Storm could be the difference. Dropping beautiful storms from Kala all over the Siege Tank line. Clearing out so... And that's the difference right there. Clearing out all those Siege Tanks. Zealots coming in from that left-hand corner. Perfect Side Storms. Textbook. Able to wipe it out. What a beautiful engagement from Kala. Now he's up 45 supply. Is continuing to press this. Honestly, doesn't need to. Might want to back off a little bit. Jagoon's continuing to work on this. This Marine working on that, next, uh, on that Nexus is getting into that. Has managed to wipe out that shield. Only a single Zealot needs to wander up there to clean that up. Archon has morphed in. Nice defense. Now Scan. Maybe in a little bit of trouble. Still pumping out of these factories. Is getting another command center. Is working towards his fourth. But now, oof, absolute gateway, man. So 5, 10, 11, 12. So 12 gateways here inside of Kala's base. Vulture's wandering up to try to provide some disruption. The cannons, they're going to be plenty of defense. There's that zealot cleaning this up. Some more vultures might be able to get something done there. And Kala continuing to press forward over these ramps. Observers flying forward to see what they can see. Zealot is going to swing around. Is trying to get a mind drag. Keep in mind, Archons don't trigger those mines. Because they are a floating unit. And he's... Yeah, I like this. Kala not giving him an inch. Going ahead and clearing this out. Pushing forward. Scan might be locked into three bases here. He does have this additional command center coming online. But he needs to be able to push out. He's getting good scans to keep an eye on Kala's army, though. Air weapons upgrade. It suggests to me somewhere back here in Kala's base. Let's see if I can find it. He's got that Stargate upgrading. And I'm wondering if he is going to... He feels like he's bought himself enough time to perhaps do that tech switch to carriers, or maybe he's going to opt for Arbiters here. Zealot sneaking in underneath. Another counterattack from up above. 
Siege tank's a bit thin. High Templar on the ground, gets a Psy Storm, catches the Science Vessel, doesn't quite catch the SCVs. Some damage there. Shuttle's been taken out from up above, but more Dragoons peeling in, and the attacks continue from the south. There's no Observer to provide <clears throat> support, so that might get cleaned up. And Kala backing off now with those Siege tanks reinforcing. But he has managed to minimize map control from Scan. And Scan again, trying to float another command center out. He's honestly kind of trying to take that a little bit naked or blind, I would say. Like an uncovered call. Um, <laughs> be a little bit silly there. A lot of High Templar on the ground. So this Vulture Force doing work. Three High Templar. Another Psy Storm on top of a High Templar, so that's a lot of gas lost. Big win for Scan. That Command Center looks like it's gonna go, it can go ahead and land. The Vultures were able to clean up this Nexus in the upper left-hand corner. Dragoons making their way across to go ahead and try to establish that base. Looks like another Nexus being grabbed from Kala bottom right. Kala is still sitting on four bases. His main is looking a little bit thin. His natural is still producing just fine. Scan's in a bit of trouble here. Working towards that, looks like he's got that level... Two armor, level three weapons. Upgrade alongside. Does have science vessels to deal with potential arbiters. But instead, we do see a fleet beacon warping in. And Call is still sitting at 176 supply. And it's still kind of pinned him into, well, four bases here. But he's he's happy to go ahead and let him take four bases because he's essentially mining on four, five, five himself. And Scan is essentially going to be mining on three. Because this base is about to expand. Actually, I take it back. Both his main and his mineral only. So he's going to be on two bases. So two bases versus four base Protoss. Which is not the position you want to be in. A lot of Zealots. A lot of Dragoons making their way across. Some more High Templar and Zealots. Are they going to drop over that Siege Tank line? They're going to get wiped out before they're really able to get anything accomplished. Scan recognizing the situation. Has already built another command center. He's trying to float out and take this upper left-hand base to get himself back in an economic position. He's also got some vultures sneaking in bottom right. Might be able to clean this in. They are going to be able to take one cannon down, so Kala is going to have to dedicate some forces to provide some defense there. Walking headlong into that vulture force. It's going to take a while to kind of press through this. So Scan's vulture is doing some work and also providing him some breathing room. But here's the thing. we do That tech switch is still happening. Three gateways, producing carriers. So I think Kala's happy to go ahead and... Not happy, doesn't want to lose this space, but... He's okay as long as Scan's not getting overly aggressive and taking absolutely everything. Because once he has these carriers, they're going to be really difficult to deal with. More Zealots moving in that corner. That has been spotted. This is kind of where maneuvering across these mid areas is a little bit challenging. Scan does have a handful of Goliaths. He does have the weapons upgrade to deal with the carriers as well. But, so it's going to come down to micromanagement, I think, a bit from Kala. He's still going to need troops underneath. EMP could be a differential factor for Scan if he upgrades it. He's just trying to seal up whatever territory he can to get back up to 200-200 and kind of reestablish things from there. Single Zealot making up upper left-hand corner. More... Vulture sneaking across. Looks like they are going to get some a handful of probe kills. Kala's entire army making its way across, which is going to be a signal to scan that he's free. Yeah, go ahead and take that base and reestablish some territory while they're out of position. So just a little bit of vultures right there, allowing scan to go ahead and move more vultures across the map, get some mines established. Some Zelts trying to do some mine clearing across the south and fight a little bit of threat, but there are carriers up in the air right now that are being built. There you go. Three of them. And we're going to have six in not too long. And that is when they start becoming a threat. A lot of Dragoons underneath. Some High Templar in that shuttle to also provide a threat. Vulture scooting along that left to go ahead and provide some territory there. So, if we look at things now, Scan has managed to reestablish a lot of territory. He's still got his mineral only running. He's now mining at the 1 o'clock. He's mining at the 11 o'clock as well. But... Carriers are now engaging, and this is a lot of siege tanks with no anti-air. Si EMP immediately being upgraded. So I think he was caught unaware. Nice defensive matrix. Dragoons getting peeled out from underneath. They don't... They're at level 3 weapons, no armor upgrade. So they melt very quickly before that level 3 weapons upgrade. 
the Goliath count being kept small, and the Science Vessel being taken out as well. So the EMP going to be a little bit less of a threat here. More carriers on the way. Vultures diving once again into this bottom right-hand base, but there's plenty of cannons to try to provide defense as well, and some Dragoons making their way across. So Scan trying to provide himself some breathing room to try to pull these carriers off to maybe salvage some of these siege tanks, but he's just bleeding siege tanks. A single Goliath making his way across. A coating of Psy Storm trying to push these High Templar forward, but a lot of Vultures there to go ahead and clear the way. They're not going to be able to push up and get any sort of Psy Storm that they wanted to. If Scan can somehow get enough Goliaths up in the air to deal with this, he still might be in an okay position. Because Kala is now mining. He's mined out here. He's basically sitting on three base. So this is what? Three base Terran versus three base Protoss. Theoretically an advantage. But, but, there's still carriers up in the air. And Scan is down a little bit of supply. And these carriers are just, yeah, there's a lot of territory to work with. So let's see if he can get that Goliath count up. If he can keep crushing Kala's ground army there to support the carriers. And if he can deny additional bases. A ground, speaking of ground forces, while all that's happening, some zealots wandering up to this 11 o'clock base, able to get a lot of disruption there. That's going to cause Scan a lot of headache. He's got to reinforce, do something. Lifting off that command center should be able to salvage it. He's going to go ahead and try to take this upper left-hand corner while that's happening. Again, wants that long-term economic advantage to go for a starve out. Scan, however, sitting at 130 supply versus the 190 comparatively, and Kala's continuing to press forward. Luckily for Scan, it looks like he's able, at least as far as the carriers are concerned, he's been able to engage Goliath at those locations to clear that. It looks like he is going to be able to clear out this base. So there was a disruption in mining, but he still kept bases up. Lost a lot of SCVs though. He's down to 38 SCVs overall. Not what he's looking for. The thing for Kala, as long as Kala can keep mining, he's got all sorts of gateways to refill. However, Kala is still sitting at three bases versus the three bases for Scan. Plus Scan has additional bases waiting around, but this carrier count is getting large. And we do see the level weapons, level two weapons upgrade. They're getting dangerous as well, where they can pick off command centers that rapidly. What was that? Handful. Psystorm drop to the north, catching a handful of SCVs here and there. Some nice dodges from Scan, but still ends up losing, it looks like, about six SCVs. Dragoons pressing in. Some Psystorm to try to weaken those Goliaths underneath. Not a lot of ground forces to provide some support. Just probes pulling off the line. One carrier down. More reinforcements. Looks like Kala wants to go ahead and try to take that three o'clock base for himself. But that's Goliath in open ground, pressing into those carriers. Finally, some Dragoons able to sneak in underneath to push those Goliaths back. Kala still in a great position. Archon, oof. Out of energy, oof, that was out of shield. So lucky there. Some siege tanks trying to get some damage. Looks like they were able to get some SCV kills before they were wiped out. It's going to come down to what looks like a starvation match overall. I, st I still have to give a heavy favor to Kala. Scan holds more territory, but he's holding it basically by the skin of his teeth. Kala still hasn't taken a fourth base to mine out of. Not fourth base overall, fourth base to mine. Mineral only, looking very thin, actually has one from gas uh, right there. This base is mining, that base is mining, this is starting to look thin. Having to micro absolutely everywhere. Scan, however, is down to 96 supply. His mineral only looking very thin. He is mining here at the 12 o'clock and 11 o'clock, and it looks like he's basically got three bases up. But scan GG's. Go ahead and go back. Bah, 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 bah. Oof, that was... Replay's freaking out on me a little bit. Give me a second. It's going to go ahead and GG. <laughs> Some Dark Templar working making their way across. Missed that. He's going to go ahead and GG because he's just very, 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 very far behind in the overall supply count. Yeah, he has bases. But, yeah, I don't know that he could... Uh... 
And keep in mind, this is also, you know, it's for... It's not a tournament situation. Side storms. Got that. Do 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 do. Archons. Pressing it down. Just really feeling it. Lo prob probably feeling that there's just too many carriers. Carry count's too high. Too many ground forces underneath. And he is. You can just see the supply count here. 171. So despite having. And also, this Archon just really was able to take out that upper left. So this base is still mining, this base is still mining. This maybe could have been cleared out with an EMP. But... But yeah, this is just the, the carriers. The carriers! Shakes fist at the sky. And he's got not a, not enough Goliaths to really fight this off. Plus, it looks like, yeah, Call's ground army is just too large. And as he's encroaching up here, he would have been able to clean these bases out. So essentially what it comes down to is Scan was relying just on being aggressive and just being everywhere to kind of press these carriers back and he was running out of ground forces to really make that happen and just bleeding siege tanks. He just didn't have enough to be everywhere at once like he wanted to be. And Kala probably, honestly with these carriers out in the air, probably could have gone ahead after this and... because that, that was all of Scan's ground force. Which means he would have either, and there are still minerals in the bank, not a lot, but for Kala, where he probably could have rebuilt that ground force. Um, so essentially, the follow up, you would either need to, he couldn't produce all of the siege tanks and Goliaths he really wanted to, or vultures. Basically, he couldn't produce enough mass to kind of keep uh, Kala back. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.